so they just used to watch and get caught into ads and you know you still get sucked back into you know I turned off my television a long time ago but now um, it's just very hard because you've been conditioned to have these points of view so you see these these uh, um, sort of prejudices and stuff that have been conditioned just still pop up you know, like, the fact of the you know it's been so great to these things so, uh, we're all manipulated on multiple levels through powerful, scientifically controlled propaganda and social engineering systems for marketing and subversion purposes. There's just uh, so much evidence there on these files in Apollo. Television is the greatest tool in psychological warfare ever created. That is the biggest. You have, it, it's absolutely incredible to think about it. You have a box, an electronic box that sits in a corner of the room, and you have a way of electronically controlling how light is emitted of certain wavelengths from little pixels on that box. And when people look at this little box, it changes their world view. I mean, like an example is after September 11, from looking at this little box, electronic box in the corner, people all of a sudden hate Muslims. You know, this, little, this box controls everything. This box is, is you know, people see the mass secret It's just, that's what it is. The little accessory you change the channels, tells you everything about it, doesn't it? It's just and the guy TV programming. And the idea is that you have hundreds of hundreds of channels and you have loads of choices. No, because they're all limited in the same box. And even more interesting, uh, the call from the third engine is that televisions are actually designed with flicker rate that's uh, in them. Is that when you watch it, it changes your brain state. You know, different brain states have uh, beta, theta, and so forth. People look all over themselves. But when you look at television to a certain flicker rate, which goes on that you can't see consciously, it trains your brain to alpha state. This is so old and so many published documents on it. When you're in alpha state, all information is uh, it's easier to be uh, accepted and uh, remembered in your brain. And your subconscious mind. So, like, you know, why is it designed that way? It could be designed any way you want it, but that's in it. The flick rate has nothing to do with the refresh rate on the screen, which uh, makes it look smooth. But um, research all information and be critical in your analysis. And that's it. Look. Thank you. And what do you think of the talk? I think it was really good, and I, I think that uh, just, I'm just listening to Simon as well about you know even going further on from that about the mind control of the kids with the games as well. You know because we know all about like the, uh, the TV and the stuff like games. that. But the war games, I think it's a really important issue because it's quite frightening how you know people are getting used to actually murder, murder, kill, kill, and you know they're, they're just desensitised from it, and it's. Uh, uh, it's really sad to see that happening, isn't it? And you know, and that part of the film when he was talking about, you know, people over in Africa starving, people, it's like Primark and all this. You know, we, we just don't see it, we don't see it. But then also what we were talking about before even going to get a sandwich or going to the shops or the supermarket, you can't do anything without sort of feeding into that program because you wouldn't be able to eat and you wouldn't be able to wear things. You know, that's how they've got us. So it's, it's, it was a good, very good talk. Did you enjoy the talk? Thank you. It was a uh, point out a lot of good things, to be honest. Yeah. Is that, not everything I agreed with, but I think it's something that needs to be researched more into and debated a bit more to sort of get the, a better view on certain things. Okay. Any areas that um, you might want to elaborate on or anything you could recommend? Well, there's certain things that just pop out of my mind from a certain background. I know that I saw the thing about the KGB agent and I kind of looked at the context, context of it all and it kind of, it was sort of in the area of like when the Cold War was happening, it was on an American TV show which I thought could give a certain bias towards America, stuff things like that, which I noticed, but there's little things I think that maybe need dining out more. Thank you. The talk. It was very informative, very good. Any particular areas that you were particularly interested in or any further interested? Everything, just to, just to you know, just cross the boxes really for me and a lot of things, you know. So just to, just answered questions that I already kind of knew, but yeah, re, re, reaffirmed them. Great. Thanks, thanks a lot.